Hi everyone, it's Lisa Moeller with Medmark and welcome to another very special edition of Doc Talk. Special today because we have my very good friend, Dr. Justin Moody from the Dental Implant Center, joining us all the way from Rapid City, South Dakota. Justin is not only an, an amazingly talented implantologist, but an educator through the courses he teaches at his seminar series, Implant Pathway. He gives tirelessly of his time helping the homeless veterans through the CAS clinic here in Phoenix, runs a highly successful dental podcast called Dennis Implants and Worms, and in his spare time, he just happens to be one of the most genuine people I know, and I'm proud to call him my friend. Welcome, Justin Moody. Thank you. It's How good to be you? here. It's great to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're going to talk implants today. That's all I know. <laughs> That's all you know. That's what you're best at, right? Yeah, that that. That it probably is. <laughs> so tell us how you chose implantology and who were some of your early mentors? You know, um, when I got out of dental school, I moved back to my childhood uh, hometown where I grew up. I was, uh, you know, I was the fifth generation to grow up in uh, western Nebraska on this cattle ranch. And I always wanted to uh, come back and do something. I always thought maybe it was going to be ranching and farming, but it turned out that I went to dental school. And when I got back... I didn't want to deal with dentures and partials and stuff all my career, like adjustments and, and, and trying to tell people that they really were never going to be able to have something that was a true tooth replacement. So I knew as soon as I got back, I got into dental implants and took every course out there imaginable. I had an unbelievable uh, mentor, uh, Dr. Roger Pluster in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, he got me excited about it. He convinced me to take these expensive courses, you know, that uh, over over time and when you're a young dentist, man, it's just, it, was, it seemed like it was so expensive and it wouldn't be worth it, but it was totally the right thing to do. And now I've just been the student of the game, you know, even though I do teach implant dentistry, like all these big courses I go to, I, will, I always want to learn and hear as many people as possible because uh, you never, you never stop learning at all. Right. So it was an investment that paid off for you, obviously. You know, education is a great investment. It really is. Uh, now that I have a, uh, a college-age son that is going to... Uh, <laughs> he's not going to be a dentist. He's going to be a civil engineer. But uh, uh, I see how valuable that knowledge is. And even the interaction with people at the collegiate level, uh, it's, it's, it's so important for where he's going to be. And it, it turned out to be such an asset for myself. You know, all the people that I got to meet over uh, over the years of the meetings and looking forward to these meetings to meet them again, you know, and, and, and interact with them. I mean, it's, it's a great way. Right. You get back a lot with that. I've seen lately. <laughs> a lot. Uh, you know, it's, it's fun. You know, we've been, uh, I've been very blessed to have a great, uh, career in, uh, dentistry I'm celebrating my 20th year of dentistry this year. Wow. So, uh, if you could imagine I'm the social chair for my, uh, dental school class. So we're going to have a, uh, Class reunion out in Napa later this summer. I can't summer. imagine you being the social I chair. Know, I know, it would be it would be hard. But, Lots of uh, fireball happening. Uh, yes, <laughs> but uh, you know, in twenty years, I've been very blessed to have a great career and to have uh, done well. In this second half, if you want to say of my career, I really look forward to trying to give back. You know, not just to other dentists to help them, inspire them. Because if I didn't have my mentor in both the education and in the clinic with Roger, like I don't think I would be, I wouldn't be sitting here on this couch talking to you about, you know, implant dentistry. So if I can inspire one dentist in the course of my career to do that, that would be, uh, you know, it would make it worth worthwhile. And I think I'll do better than that, but uh, oh, absolutely, um, it is. And, you know, and here in Phoenix, the ability <laughs> to do some unbelievable work with our veterans who need it the most We've done courses outside of the country in the Dominican and Guadalajara, Mexico, and those are great. And I have nothing against the, you know, the good people of those countries, but right here in the U.S., we have such a need for our own help. And uh, uh, here in Phoenix is just a great, uh, great organization at the CAS Clinic. Um, just an opportunity to do some really great teaching for dentists to learn, yeah. and the, the patients get unbelievable work. Yeah, it's amazing the work you do, and, and I love it that it's in my own backyard here in Phoenix. So <laughs> well, it is what, it's what brought me here this week. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. So um, you teach quite a few courses on behalf of BioHorizons. So tell us about your affiliation with them and why they are your implant of choice. Sure. You know, 
might be a lengthy uh, answer because it's, okay. it's kind of multi-parted. Uh, um, you know, I've been placing implants for almost 20 years and uh, I didn't start with BioHorizons, but over, over time, somewhere about 2006, I just, I'd taken enough courses and I started to learn about implant design and, and the science behind dental implants. And, you know, if we, if we talk about dental implants, they almost all work. You know, I mean, the mm -hmm. FDA gives clearance to like 300 and some different companies now to sell in the U.S. So if you have those many choices, you know, how do you choose? And, you know, one of it, you know, it could be about price, but, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for. And when I found BioHorizons, it was truly based upon the science. You know, they have, uh, uh, you know, from the implant being uh, manufactured here in the U.S., which I thought which was, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's very important to me. Yeah. And, uh uh, uh, the people that I surround myself with. And it also is based in science. They have, uh, they have features like a reverse buttress thread design, which uh, allows for really superior stabilization of the implant at the time of insertion. And they have a, uh, a surface treatment, uh, the, the coronal aspect called laser lock, which is, a, which is a laser treatment to the implant that allows for actual soft tissue adherence. So mm -hmm. what happens is, and it's the only one the FDA allows them to say has a true soft tissue attachment to the dental implant. And it kind of creates a biologic seal around the implant protecting the bone and the implant contact. And when you have that seal, you have less issues, you have better crestal bone maintenance. And now they have an implant that combines both the thread design, the laser lock technology, and a platform shifting in the implant to really increase soft tissue thickness, uh, soft tissue health and maintenance over the time, which if you keep the soft tissue, you keep the bone. If you keep the bone, you keep the soft tissue. Right. And for me, it's not about what the implant can look like today, but it's like, what is it gonna look like 20 years from now when I see my patient? And, you know, I want it to look as good 20 years from now as it did today. So I, I found my way to BioHorizons through the science and, you know, really wanting to do the best dental implant for my patients what's happened is a, you know, is, uh, is a friendship over the years and mm -hmm. a quality product. So when I decided that I wanted to start to give back and, 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 and try my hand at teaching other dentists, BioRizon stepped up and they said, Hey, you know, you're going to need, uh, uh, you're going to need to use an implant system when you teach. I mean, I got to teach them to place dental implants and I got to choose a system. And obviously, you know, I would prefer to use BioRizon. So, they stepped up and uh, uh, they support our hands-on uh, portions of our course. They have um, great field reps that, that come out into the, uh, the courses and can really help us, you know, with the dentists. Uh, you know, they have a huge product knowledge as well because not every dentist understands the products that the, the implant companies sell from both biologics, you know, such as bone grafting to the prosthetic pieces and the implants themselves. So... That was one aspect, and as this, as this partnership and this friendship has grown, when I told them that we wanted to go to the CAS clinic and provide, you know, hands-on training to our dentists and provide veterans with this, you know, the ability to have a true tooth replacement, mm -hmm. they never questioned it. They stepped up. They, they provide all of the implants that we use at this course free of charge. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, and then over the... Over the next uh, four days that we're going to be here in Phoenix, we may place in excess of 250 implants, which will have a you know a retail value of the final product of maybe 250 thousand or more. Could even be up to 500 thousand, depending upon what we give away. So wow. uh, you know, it's just they never questioned it. They always knew it was the right thing to do, and that's why that's why I use them. I really do. They're, they're a very they're, generous company. Ah, they do it for the right reasons too. I mean, they've been around. They've been around a long time, and uh, they're again. They're they're based out of Birmingham, Alabama. It doesn't get much more American than uh, <laughs> right. uh, you know that. But just uh, good people from the top down. The CEO has been committed to giving back in the the profession as well. So uh, it's a good home for me. Absolutely, yeah. That's a, a great partnership with them for sure. It is a good partnership, and you have to have that in the education world because. You can't do it all on your own, you know, otherwise, otherwise the tuition to the, the course would be so high, it would be almost, you know, inclusive of being able to do a, 
to do a course. So good part. Do you, do you find that using their implants um, that your patients have less issues when you place uh, BioHorizons as far as coming back to see you and having having any issues long term? I mean, I think so. Uh, you know, I've been using them fairly exclusively since 2000, uh, about 2006. But when they created the Tapered Plus implant, which is the platform shifting laser locked implant, you know, even though I've only got five year follow ups, you know, from the time it's been out, the soft tissue and the bone maintenance on this implant has been just second to none. Like the, the previous companies that I placed, versus what I've done over the last five years uh, in my hands have just been, it's been night and day in comparison. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would, uh, I would be very sad if someone tried to t take those from me. Uh, it wouldn't go well. Oh, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no. But it is that in, um, for me, for me that kind of science and now that I have these five year uh, follow ups on it, just tells me that I'm using the right thing for my patients. Right. Absolutely. And it's all about the patients and their comfortability and getting through their cases and Well, it is it is all it is all about the patient yeah. because, you know, they've entrusted uh, their oral health to you and it's not your right, but it's an honor and a privilege to have someone walk in your office and uh, let them work on you. So for me to be able to provide them with what I think is the very best in care and you know BioHorizons is not the cheapest one on the on the market but they're not the most expensive either and they have the opportunity you know to I have the opportunity to use a premium product at a reasonable cost and have long-term outcomes for my patients uh, it's it's a win-win so tell us about your um, implant pathway courses Sure. Which I know that you love and enjoy and you travel all over the country doing. So tell our audience about those. I do. Um, I enjoy traveling and I enjoy meeting all the dentists across the country. You know, the Implant Pathway was created to provide dentists not only the, that are interested in getting into implants, but we also offer some advanced courses for those that really want to take their practice to the next level. And... Gone are kind of the days where people just travel to you because, uh, you know, face it, I live up in Rapid City, South Dakota. So, <laughs> you know, we're about 20 miles from Mount Rushmore. So if you haven't uh, checked that off your bucket list, you probably should. That's but, a draw. Uh, That's a draw. It is a draw. But, you know, it's it's a little tougher in the wintertime to do courses up in uh, yeah. South Dakota. So uh, we decided we picked five cities this year across uh, mostly the western part of the U.S. to teach dental implant dentistry, implant dentistry to uh, uh, anybody that wanted to take it. And we've had just an unbelievable response to it. We just wrapped up our course in Dallas, Texas three weeks ago. And the next implant pathway is in uh, the third week in July in Denver, Denver, okay. Colorado. Mm -hmm. And then we finish up the year out in San Francisco. So it's been, it's been good. And, and the course is, Take, having taken all these educational courses, what I found is there's so many subjects within implant dentistry that you don't need to travel 3,000 miles to learn, you know, pharmacology, implant rationale. I mean, those are things that just, you know, you put you to sleep or put you onto your phone you know, while you're taking a course. So we, we took those 16 hours of uh, education, we wrapped them up into 16 one-hour modules in an online session. So what we call session one is 16 hours of continuing education, taken at your own leisure. You know, you can do it on your couch, or your free time, your lunch hour, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it gives you the, the, the science basis for the courses that uh, are to come. All of our courses are ADA, uh, AGD certified, so you have all the continuing education credits to count towards your... Uh, your state licenses. How many credits do they get? So there's 16 for the first hour okay. and then uh, for the first session. Mm -hmm. And then uh, session two, you, you have, do have to travel to because now we've con condensed everything that we want to talk about into a two-day course. It's a Friday, Saturday course. And there's a lot of hands-on. You know, we do a lot of uh, implant uh, placement into uh, models. We do implant placement into pig jaws. Uh, we mm -hmm. practice suturing, we practice uh, um, flap reflection and design, and uh, 
it's a it's a, it's a dynamic opportunity. So we learn a little bit. We take a uh, hands on exercise. We learn some more. You know, it's kind of no opportunity to fall asleep. Right, uh, right. So we have session two and we have session three is also uh, on uh, on the road, and they're generally taken in the same location. But you know, life happens sometimes. You know. You know, we have uh, bad things happen. We have weddings that are good things happen and things. And sometimes you can't make all the, every course. So mm -hmm. we designed it that if you could take session two in Dallas, but you couldn't make the third session in Dallas, you can take it in Denver. So it's kind of a oh, opportunity to, yeah, it's kind of an opportunity for you to really, you know, work it into your own schedule. Like most people want to take it as quick as they can, but uh, at the end of the day, they can, um, take it at their leisure. Session three deals more with the prosthetics, you know, how to, we have hands-on exercises on how to uncover implants, how to uh, restore them, mm -hmm. you know, how to communicate with the laboratory, how to deal with uh, fully edentulous cases, and then a little intro into guided surgery. So gives you a good well-rounded education that I think that at the end of those three sessions, you know, our goal is definitely for you to be able to go back to your practice and place a dental implant in a healthy patient in an abundant bone situation, mm -hmm. which all of our practices have, um, they have that group of people in there. You know, you can call it cherry picking, whatever you want, but it's, you know, you should do your first hundred implants in a, into a good success story before you try to... Uh, get to the hard cases. Yeah, get to the hard cases. Yeah. But the, the, the coolest part is, which we're about to do this week, is session four, and that is the live implant training in, uh, here in Phoenix. So once you've completed the three, you can sign up for the fourth session. We come to the CAS clinic and we place implants into some of the most needy people on the planet. You know, and these are not necessarily when we call homeless, it's not necessarily the destitute that you would think, you know, like living in the gutter or something. You mm -hmm. know, many of those people have a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. The people we see have gone through a whole rehabilitation program where they've gone through medical to get themselves healthy. Many of them are living in halfway homes, uh, group housing, maybe even their own apartment as they've gotten there. And the last piece and truly is the coolest part is many of them, the last piece is getting that smile to be able to go out and actually get a good job. Oh, that's cool. That's it is. I mean, that's in. sometimes, you know, they get their life back in order and they have these things, but having that smile is, uh, something that they really need. So for the next, uh, Four days, we'll be here in Phoenix, right. training, uh, providing these uh, patients with whatever they need, whether it's just a single implant or it's a denture that's being held in with dental implants. Uh, that's what we're here to do. So oh, that's amazing work. It's super fun. So I can't, happy I can't, I can't, I, 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 I can't tell you how fun it is. Yeah, I bet. It really is. Very comprehensive course. So um, implant pathway and. The next one, again, is July 21st through the 22nd in Denver. I believe so. Yep. And for more information, um, implantpathway.com, yep. correct? Just, uh, yep, uh, implantpathway.com. You can find uh, the courses on my own website, too. It's uh, justinmoodydds.com. You okay. can get links uh, either way from there. Sounds good. Yeah. So, okay, so with all of your free time, which, <laughs> which we know you don't have a ton of, these days. You gotta work it in there once in a while. <laughs> what do you besides spending time with your family, Christina and the boys, what yep. what do you like to do in your valuable time off? Um, you know, I don't have a great golf story. I do love to golf. I'm really not very good at it at all. But uh, <laughs> you know, it's uh it, it's fun to go out and do I I enjoy hunting, uh, but not big game. We do a lot of pheasant hunting up in South Dakota, so we we actually have a continued education event where we do pheasant hunting and uh, lecture and it's always sold out every year people come from all over the country to take the course and it's mm -hmm. uh, it's good fun and, and really you know I like best is hanging out with my friends and my family you know uh, traveling you get to meet a lot of great friends and you can pretty much go wherever you want and, uh, and rummage up a friend and that's that's the best part about my travels you, got, really you have a lot of friends I do. You know, I mean, I got to come and I got to come out and hang out with you the other day. Like, I know, hanging at the pool. Yeah, that was it's awesome. great fun. So, can you share some of your best practices that you use in your practice um, to our implant doctor audience, and and how they could be more successful, possibly in their practice? I mean, I think there's a few of those, uh, and we talked about some of it. Um, you know, my general 
my private practice is in Rapid City, South Dakota, where my practice is limited to dental implants. I also own uh, four other general dentistry offices throughout Western Nebraska and South Dakota. So, you know, in the process of mentoring, uh, which is near and dear to my heart, is mentoring the dentist. Because had I not had that myself, I wouldn't have been able to get where I'm at today. Um, it really stems around education. You know, getting more knowledge about what you'd like to do and really finding in dentistry what you like to do. Because for me, I found that it was implants. You know, I enjoy the surgical side of it. I enjoy the restorative side of it and providing somebody with a true tooth replacement. So I think best practice for anybody's practice is education. I think it's got to start with uh, uh, education. Mm -hmm. And when you start with education, I think you also have to include involving your whole team, you know, because even though I may be the one that ultimately places the dental implant, I couldn't do this without everybody that's on my team from the front desk to my dental assistants, to the lab technicians, to the laboratory, everybody's part of that team. And if they all speak a common language, because there's kind of these two buy-ins and buy-in is when your team says, you know what, if I was missing a tooth, I would want a dental implant. Mm -hmm. But the real buy-in happens when your team says, you know what, if I was missing a tooth, I would only want you to place the dental implant. Mm -hmm. And that's really powerful because you go from not only understanding that it's the right treatment, but knowing that your doctor is the right doctor to put that implant in. So involving your team and getting them fired up, like you can't get where you want to go in implant dentistry without having a great team. Absolutely. And then uh, I think the last one, which is, I don't think it's hard to do and I don't think that it's fundamentally difficult, but you know, as, as young dentists come out and they're so indebted, you know, I, I spoke to one the other day that he was $525,000 in student loan debt Whoa. before he's ever even made any money. And you know, it's hard to do the dentistry you want to do without, you know, maybe thinking about like, I, I, I got to sell every patient. I got to do every single case. And sometimes the best treatment is no treatment for our patients, mm -hmm. you know, and it comes to back to this. If you do the right thing a hundred percent of the time, you don't have to worry about that stuff, you know? So I think that's kind of a best practice, you know, like I would never want to do something to one of my patients that being put in that same situation with the knowledge that I have today, I would only want what I would want done for myself. So as long okay. as you practice by that, you just don't have any problems. That's so. good. I totally agree with that. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So I would be remiss if we didn't talk about one of your other favorite pastimes, which is dentist implants and worms. <laughs> the, the, the highly successful podcast that you started... Uh. Um, one year ago? Yeah, February of uh, February of uh, 16. Uh -huh. So it's been around a little bit over a year. We're 120 episodes in. We release bi-weekly. We release on uh, uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. Which I've been on three of. You have. Uh, you are so much of... fun. Love it. You guys do an awesome job. It's I just tell you, <clears throat> I keep going back to the, the younger generation, you know, of, of Dennis and I don't know at 45 and being out 20 years if I am old or young or maybe I'm in the middle there, but the way we take our information today is differently, is different, you know, and especially to the younger dentists, you know, the, the, they love podcasts and I was like, what is all this podcasting thing? So when I first started looking on iTunes, you know, there was maybe 10 or 11 dental podcasts and I listened to them and it was people that really shared their knowledge. And uh, um, there's a bunch of them out there, but these, these, I gravitated towards these, these guys, they call themselves the dental hacks. And, uh, and I was like, the dental hacks? Like, what the hell? Why would I want to listen to some dental hacks? But they gave so freely of their own experiences in their, in their dental office, and people learned from it. And uh, listened to... Uh, uh, Another one, he's based out of here, a guy named Gary Takis, based mm -hmm. out of the Scottsdale area. Mm -hmm. And they just give, and they're, you know, the, the podcast is free. And the information they gave was real and insightful, and it was uh, uh, factual. And I was like, but they were all a little bit stuffy. 
-hmm. So we decided that we were going to have a, a podcast and we would, we would talk about our experiences, but we'd throw a little spin in it. So it's called Dennis Implants and Worms. And the worms part, uh, it's not, we don't have any worms in the studio or anything, but... Uh, <laughs> Nothing to do with uh, tequila. No, no. no. Uh, the worm is actually uh, a dental school classmate of mine. We called him the bookworm while we were in dental school. And it, we dropped the book and we just called him the worm. And the guy's funny as hell. Oh my God, he's he funny. Is funny. He's so funny. So he, oh, and he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't get on every episode, but uh, he's the worm in the dentist implants and worms. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. we've had great, uh, we've had a lot of great guests such as yourself. And uh, we just talk freely, you know, and sometimes uh, <laughs> it might not be, you know, all content. You know, we do generally do it after work. So one of our mantras is uh, we help the world you know, navigate the world of dentistry one vodka soda at a time. <laughs> and uh, we'll have a shot of fireball here and there. And uh, just kind of make yeah, just kind of make sure people enjoy what they listen to. There's always some excellent content in there mixed in with the fun. But it, it is a lot of fun. It's it's a, it's you guys a, are characters. Uh, it's, a, it's a ton of fun and <laughs> it's super humbling. We did a continued education event last year called The Voices of Dentistry in Nashville, which is rumored is coming to Scottsdale in January. Oh, but, yay. Um, That's going to be great. It's a, it's a, it was a first, it was the first meeting of dental podcasters got together and did this continuing education events. And I was like, I didn't really know what to think of it. But these people, they were, we had almost 200 people come and they would come to you and they'd say, it's such a pleasure to meet you. And I was just like, well, pleasure's mine. You know, and they're like, you know, how's your son Aaron doing? And I'm like, what? Like, how, how do you know my son Aaron? But know you don't realize, life. like, you talk about real life on the podcast, mm -hmm. and people like they they learn your life, and they 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 ask you questions that you don't really realize that you had talked about. They get to know you, and it's so awesome. Like it's so humbling. Like it's like the humblingest thing that I. You know. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's super fun. I it's love super that. fun. So. so that's one of your favorite pastimes then. It is, it is. Like I don't really I don't really consider it work, you know, even though we do it after work and it, I built this podcasting studio in my office. Uh, it's so not work. So not work. Well, you guys are doing very, very well and I always enjoy being on there and chatting. It's so much fun. It is it is love fun. It. We love having you on. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being so generous with your time today and fitting us in. Oh. On your trip to Phoenix here, we so appreciate it. And whenever you come to town, you're always welcome on Doc Talk. Well, we appreciate that. Uh, and thank you so much also for writing the awesome articles for Implant Practice. Oh, it's my every, pleasure. Every issue, Justin writes for us, and hopefully, it's uh, great. hopefully, I have enough content in those more than, more so than my podcast. But uh, <laughs> it's always amazing content. Yes, yes, definitely. Well, thank you. Thanks so much, Justin. Absolutely. We'll see you soon. So that's going to be a wrap for this edition of Doc Talk. I'd like to thank my friend, Dr. Justin Moody with Implant Pathway for joining us today. If you haven't been fortunate enough to attend one of his courses, please don't hesitate to go to implantpathway.com and book his next course in a city, city near you. I'd also like to thank BioHorizons for sponsoring this special Doc Talk segment. And for more info on them, please go to biohorizons.com. As always, for more implant-related and educational topics, please visit us at implantpracticeus.com or like our Facebook page, Implant Practice US. Thanks again for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Take care, everyone.